Actually, did we go on the one that just said our guild? <laughs> the big giant one right next to City Hall? No, we didn't. Hmm. Koopa, house decoration. Some Willamanders. Oh, somebody named it house decoration. They're like, excuse how bad this is. Yeah, look at this. Zero stats for everything. That's just like grinding BE, sampling Durnies or whatever. All right, so let's see. Let's let that load. Turn the old HUD off. Oh, of course, when I turn the HUD off, my little uh, waypoint monitor goes away. Boop. You can see what it's doing there. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that's fine. Ah, fuck it. We'll leave the HUD on. Who cares? Guildhall Deco. Some Willamanders. There we go. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Look at, I remember this now, yeah. Look at all these creatures. Plants everywhere. Oh, it looks cool. Movement, water, fire. Look at these big boys. Oh, you don't want to be on camera? You camera shy, you fool? You fool? Oh, look at you. Look at you. You got a beard. You're an elephant with a beard. Adorable. You bearded ass elephant motherfucker. Love it. Oh my god, those fucking nails are huge. Why are they so tall? Oh, it gives me the eebie jeebies. All right, Bantha, we'll look at you. Like a Bantha. Oh, you know, I should add that sound too. Add like a Bantha. That's a perfect sound. We need a like a Bantha sound, don't we? Yes, we do. Virmuk. Ooh, you look so angry, buddy. Are you angry because you've been standing here in the same exact spot for six years without moving? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I understand. All right. Am I not on that? Oh, no. I'm on the glitter bomb. Whoops. Let's go prone, shall we? Look at these cute little rabbits and this naked thing. So uh, one, one of the ideas I had, and actually this is, what is this? A Nort, yeah, Nort is perfect. Yes, I agree, Frey. We may, uh, we you know, we may not see eye to eye on what a cat is, but we both agree that like a bantha is needed. I could do the sound or the video clip. I'll definitely. I think the sound is the easiest one, but a little video clip may be good too. Yeah. So uh, one of the ideas for I have so many ideas for videos. It's so easy to come up with ideas. It's so much harder to actually take the time to do it and to do it well. Oh fuck! I'm yawning. Not getting enough oxygen. There was a kid in middle school. I went. Uh, I didn't really know him. He was a few years older than me, but sound, yeah, sound for sure. Okay. But, uh, there was a kid a couple years older than me in middle school who was riding his bike across the street, car plowed into him, you know, was in the hospital in a coma for a while. Um, from what I understand, the kid was kind of a dick before the accident, but then, you know, after the brain damage, uh, all that head trauma, he was like a different person afterwards. He was a really nice, sweet kid after that. Um, but I remember he was yeah, – I rode the bus with him and he would yawn all the time, constantly yawn. And he said it had to do with like the doctors said that he wasn't getting enough oxygen to his brain or something in general and it triggered him to uh, yawn more or his body to have like a physiological response. I don't know. So I don't know if it's true or not. And also, you know, I was hearing this from a brain damaged, you know, 14-year-old kid. But uh, ever since then, I've – for some reason, it's stuck in my head that – you yawn when you need more oxygen to your brain. I have no idea if that's true or not. I just know that's what Jay told me on a bus when I was like 12 or 13. And uh, yeah, so when I just yawned, I was like, oh, I'm not getting enough oxygen to my brain. Things are so gigantic. You think you heard that too? All right, well, if Log says it's true, it's true. 
We all need more action. I've also he also said that they were contagious, or maybe I read that later. If somebody yawns, it uh, other people are more likely to yawn as well. Hello, little fellow. I feel like the mouth on these are just it's like a cartoon. Uh, you were offended by that? I'm sorry, sir. These things don't like the look like to be anatomically possible. It's like, let me take your stomach, make it bigger, and call it your neck. Take your whole fucking body and make it bigger and just call it. They do look like the kind of thing, though, that, that if they – oh, four horns. I don't know how I never noticed that before. But that thick-ass neck, that chonky neck, right? If one of these things headbutts you, you're fucked. It's like watching a video of a bull just flip over a car casually. It's like, oh, fuck. That's a lot of muscle. <laughs> uh, derpy eyeball. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Derpy son of a bitch. Oh, this guy looks regal as fuck. Oh, she's got him up on the fountain too. He's even taller. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Okay. You know, so ripply and strong. Look at him, he just looks like it's like Simba looking up at Mufasa. Hello. Fuck that guy's huge. Oh Christ. I should have gone to bed hours ago, like a reasonable person, but I'm an idiot. Man, these guys are big. I feel like having the fishing pole equipped for this house is appropriate. Can't believe I missed I must miss the guild hall. I was talking about we saw everything in the city, we got it all done. Nope. And I don't know if do any of these do these have names. Oh, okay. I was gonna say it'd be really funny if they were member like guild members' names, since they were saying it's a guild member house or guild hall. And I can't imagine that there's any de items. Oh, look at this. Once again, I open my mouth and prove myself to be wrong. Literally walking down the hallway saying, I can't imagine there'd be any other items, and then items load. Is that expression better to keep your mouth shut and be thought an idiot than open it and prove it? Oh, I'm glad I came back. Ah, toilet! All right, so this is similar. So the thing I wanted to look at earlier, I don't know if I, I guess I never came back here before. I didn't remember. All right, so the thing I uh, look at this. Look at this bathroom. This is great. So this is very similar. It had that same kind of. And I don't know if that's just how the toilets are over there. You know, the I guess kind of the British style with the tank up top, gravity fed down with the pull chain. But let me see if I can frame this a little better. Holy Christ. So this looks similar to the way that I wanted the, 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 the public bathroom looked in the merchant tent that is no longer there. So you have a toilet. See, there's like, there's an ottoman. There's the chair with the, I guess the lid is kind of the brown chair. And then there's the, uh, the chair with the white and orange back. So that's three different things to make up the toilet. You got the toilet paper on the side there. You have a gaffy, use, looks like a gaffy is the pipe up top. Uh, a lance or an Ennis lance is the pull chain. Um, the little chest up top is the, the water tank. And then lots of people in game have made sinks. I've seen lots of different takes on sinks. These ones look great using the, uh, the dye color kit thing. The blue rug dye. It's kind of the faucet, glass table, it's the sink bowl. It's good. I mean, look, it's a fucking bathroom. It's weird that there's no door, but, you know, whatever, I guess. I guess maybe this is like private quarters and you're not supposed to be walking back. You just come around the corner. Hey, uh, Steve, do you have a, for the guild? The, oh, my God. Actually, that probably wouldn't phase most people. 
Yeah, it's a nice bathroom. I'm so glad I came back here. Big painting. All right, should I go stupid? Let's go, let's let's put on like a. Uh, get the ray tracing here for the bathroom. Some high quality toilet shots here. So there's a tool called uh, Utini, like, you know, like the Jawa. Utini. Utini. Actually, that's another one you can say. You can say Jawa or Utini in chat and it'll trigger the uh, Utini. Utini sound. But, uh, but there's a tool that somebody made uh, called Utini and it's for, I guess, people running uh, SWG servers and it's supposed to be a way to um, like you could place objects with it outdoors to build scenes and it's a tool, I guess, for building that and then it helps you, uh, I guess, come spit out the code to to make that scene for your server. But I use that tool because you can free cam. So you can, you know, right now the camera is obviously tethered to my character. Um, ooh, Tatooine Sun. That was actually neat getting the view from above. But uh, yeah, so I've used Utini in the past because you can free cam. So I've used it to make uh, recordings for YouTube videos so I can pan and perfectly smooth, not be attached to a character, travel over, you know, like I could, you know, using that, I could get a nice, right? Imagine just a camera just moving up vertically to get a nice kind of panning shot, a vertical panning shot of the Tat Sun or of any of these rooms. Uh, the downside is though, it does not work with reshade. Uh, I can't get both to work at the same time. Oh, rubber banded. Uh, I can't get both to work at the same time, but that would be like a perfect combo because then you could have all these kind of cinematic, especially if I start turning on stuff like the filmic pass. All right, uh, let's do the ambient light. What's another one? Nope, not that sharpen. Not that sharpen. Make everything really shiny. Yeah, so you can get some real artsy fartsy kind of uh, you know tones, I guess. You can show us the reshade options you check to make the game look better. So I mean, I toggle them on and off a bunch. Uh, I, I can't really. I, don't, I only have my zoom set up to like zoom into the chat for the game. But the ones I usually roll with, just uh, basic. Oh, did I? Oh, I had that turned off by accident. Um, it's not much. So really, I think the biggest thing you're seeing in this, uh, my client looking different than the vanilla client are the textures. The high-res textures do a lot. So actually here, I'll turn off reshade. So this is no reshade. Reshade is completely off. You can see it's disabled. So, I mean, you can see because it's a higher resolution texture or it just looks, everything looks nicer. Reshade, I mostly, it's how I've been doing my anti-aliasing. So when I toggle it on, I just use one called FXAA, uh, but I get similar results from SMAA. Uh, there's different, you know, I guess there's multiple anti-aliasing filters. Um, and actually, let me turn off ADR. So right now I've only got, so <laughs> you can't even tell. I mean, I guess if I found something that looked, you know, had like a lot of that alias, that choppy edge, trying to find something, something we could focus on. I have it off, right? Yeah. So even now it's hard to see, I guess you can kind of see on the steps a little bit here, or maybe this straight line, you know, perfectly straight lines. So I'll hit, so off, on. It's really subtle. Maybe that's not a great example. Sometimes, so when, when you've really noticed the jagged edges in the game, let's see, can we get some of this palm frond maybe? No, even those look kind of smooth. 
I still have it off, right? Yeah, it's disabled. Yeah, so I'm trying to find a good example of something that looks No, I can't, I can't even find a good example. No, you can't find one either, buddy? All right, that's fair. But yeah, so primarily, I use that, so the anti-aliasing that way. And I'll, I have a couple little HDR ones that I go back and forth on. Right? I don't want to overdo it. Like, this one's much stronger. So this one is a huge difference. And it's too much, right? I mean, sometimes if I'm going for a certain look, like for a screenshot or a video or something, but I like this one. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Yeah, okay. So this HDR, you can see it's a, a much more subtle. I guess the other one I could probably turn down as well. But normally if I'm playing, actually if I'm playing, I like playing, playing, I usually have reshade turned off, disabled, just because... With the HUD, yeah, maybe, there's, maybe there's a good example. It makes text harder to read. So I have it off now, but when I turn it on, you see how it's harder to read that text? All right, because it tries to smooth out letters and characters when it shouldn't. So it's kind of hard for me to read things with it turned on. So if I'm playing playing, I usually have uh, reshade turned off entirely. Emancipator, Dust to Dawn. So the album is called Dusk to Dawn, but this particular song is also called Dusk to Dawn. And like I said earlier, so the only music I've been playing off stream tonight is Emancipator, is the name of the band. I'm, I'm hoping you're, you're asking because you're enjoying it. Uh, I certainly enjoy Emancipator a lot. And like I said before, uh, you know, probably four hours ago now, um, uh, I learned about Emancipator from us as another person playing EMU. So it was a friend of mine and she was like, Oh, this is my favorite album or my favorite song at the moment. And, uh, I put it on, I was like, Oh, this is good. I really like this. And then I, you know, ended up downloading more of their music and all that. Yeah. I like them. So the song that the album that I first was introduced to them <clears throat> was soon, it would be cold enough. And let's see, I like, let's see, Smoke Signals. I could do the title track from that one. So here, here's the title track from that one. And here, I'll even turn it up a little bit. So this song is called Soon It Will Be Cold Enough on the album, Soon It Will Be Cold Enough. And you see my little janky uh, homemade media thing there. The text is all fucked up. So it's real big and hard to see. I guess I could turn the text off. But... Yeah, so this was the kind of the first album song of theirs. Well, maybe not first song, definitely first album. It was Soon It Would Be Cold Enough that I liked. I'll turn it down just a little bit. I think it's just one guy. I say band, but I think Emancipator is just, it's just one dude. He does it all himself. 